Today we're going to be talking about TikTok, which is a video, um, basically a platform where we upload videos and everyone can see them. So just to get into that a little more, TikTok is a video sharing uh, social networking service. It's primarily used to create short dance, lip sync, comedy, educational, and talent videos. Anything you can think of, as long as it's a short form type of video, it's on there. And although it's described as a social networking site, it leans more towards an entertainment platform. And it's it, the main feature that it has it's a, is it's a never ending scroll feature and a customizable for you page makes it makes it really like tailored to you personally as a person and really entertaining. And a lot of people that I know personally are really addicted to the platform. So it, it can be a problem like watching it too much. Um, so what differentiates TikTok from other platforms? Um, for one thing, you can only upload videos on TikTok. There's no other types of content on there. Um, videos can be up to a minute long, but the average video length is 16 seconds. So this is like real short form content. There's not a lot of length on these um, videos that you're seeing there. And uh, like many apps, TikTok uses an endless scroll feature where basically you can just keep on getting new videos tailored to you um, as long as you want to be on the app. Um, you don't need to follow people to see their content in your feed. You can just access whoever's content you want as long as their account is public. Um, TikTok has a tailored for you page that constantly shows you new content. Like we were saying, it's tailored to you uh, personally, so you're not going to see too many things you're not interested in, and it keeps you engaged really well. And the algorithm that TikTok uses is really cutthroat. Um, if a video doesn't get likes and interactions um, within the first couple people that interact with it, it gets buried and most people won't be able to see it. So it's it's really about how it can appeal to individual people. Um, and that's like it, what it's talking about with it being cutthroat, because if your video isn't really engaging in that first little bit that people see it, people aren't going to see the video. So for creators of their videos, it's a big thing to keep in mind. So why is the platform so popular? Um, the format of TikTok, which is micro entertainment or short form content, it's appealing to younger people um, with shorter attention spans. As, as we've um, seen lately, younger people are getting shorter and shorter attention spans. So that's something that you see here that TikTok takes great advantage of. Um, it's instantly gratifying. You're going to find something that entertains you honestly as soon as you open the app. Um, it fosters a feeling of community as trends sweep across the app and all the people who create those videos get involved and interact with those trends and do actually create videos of them themselves. And you can actually find content creators of all different skills, interests, and talents. So if you have a little niche um, of something that you're interested in, chances are they're gonna be on TikTok as well and you can watch content related to that niche there. And it's also, also it's um, incredibly tailored for youth um, Facebook has been taken older by older generations, and Instagram has lots of millennials, and TikTok is heavily trafficked by Generation Z. So that's my generation. Um, so who is on TikTok? So like we were talking about there, roughly 50% of TikTok's global audience is under the age of 34, and 41% of them are between ages of 16 and 24. 53% um, of TikTok users are male, and 47% are male, so you got a pretty even split there. 68% um, of TikTok users watch someone else's videos and 55% upload their own videos. So it's kind of an interesting thing to see there um, that most of the people who are watching other people's videos are actually getting involved in creating the content themselves. And that's because it's super easy to do, but we'll get to that in a second. And there are over 100 million monthly active users on Android and iOS. That's Apple devices combined each month, which is really crazy to think about. So what exactly are in these videos that are on TikTok? Um, we got a list here. We'll go through them. The, one of the things you'll see a lot are dances. Uh, you're going to see hashtag challenges. And these are just, um, there's a variety of things that these could encompass, but it's just funny physical challenges that people create to, and like they try and replicate them themselves. Um, comedic skits and stories or something you'll see on there a lot. You'll see duets where a person reacts to another person's video. Uh, you'll see videos covering celebrities, um, covering educational topics, covering politics, which is um, really um, influential to my generation, as TikTok is a main place that my generation gets their news about politics, especially with the upcoming election, and K-pop, and because Korean pop is incredibly popular along uh, among my generation.
So we're going to have a uh, go over a little bit of what trends are here. Um, trend is a mo momentarily popular dance sound or challenge. Um, TikTok trends vary from time. Um, and for example, just to give a little bit of background on that, if a TikTok dance begins trending, other use the same sound clip and do the dance their own way. You, you may see a lot of variations of the same dance over a different period of time. So one person, generally a larger creator, will basically do a dance to a certain sound. And then you'll see smaller creators or other large creators actually do that own dance and add their own flair to it. And then you'll kind of see it like ripple across the platform. It becomes a huge thing. So how can you actually access TikTok? TikTok can be accessed on both computers and mobile devices. On computers, you're going to go to TikTok.com. On mobile devices, you're going to download the app, whether that's from the Google Play Store or the App Store. But you can only upload videos from mobile devices. So in order to download TikTok, like I was just saying there, you're going to go to the App Store if you're on an Apple phone. And if you're on an Android device, generally you're going to go to the Google Play Store. If you're on a Samsung device or a Galaxy device, you can go to their select stores, but most app stores are going to have it. Um, navigating through TikTok is one of the easiest things. It's a very simplistic platform, not meant to be too complicated. When you open up TikTok, you're automatically going to be on that home and that's going to be your For You page where you can endlessly scroll through videos. Um, you don't need an account to browse TikTok. Um, it'll still tailor all the videos to you, just not as well if you don't have an account because it can't track as much data on you. And like all social media apps, TikTok uses algorithms to, su su to suggest new content to you, but it cannot create that algorithm until you create an account. So it'll still personalize things to you based on your location, your general region, and things that it sees you interact with, but it won't do that as well unless you have an account. So the discovery page allows you to search for people, hashtags, and trends on the app. And it also shows featured trends and hashtags that you can explore. This is a way that you'd be able to find certain niche things. Um, if you're into, let's say, knitting on here, you could search knitting, and then you could find certain videos related to that in that community. In order to create a TikTok account, you're going to go to the Me tab all the way to the right on the bottom of the app. From there, you can quickly, you can just click sign up and it'll take you through the process. It's really not that complicated there. Um, navigating TikTok is really easy here. Um, in order to create an account, you can use an email, phone number, Facebook, Google account, Twitter, or Apple ID. Using Facebook, Google, and Google, Twitter, or an Apple ID is a lot quicker as it doesn't actually require you to have a password just requires you to be able to log into one of those accounts. So it's a really easy way to keep track of it. So if you like already remember your Google password, you can automatically get access to your TikTok account just like that. If you'd like to avoid data sharing from other accounts, you can sign up with a phone number or your email. That's a great way to do that. So uh, TikTok does have relationships with the, these other social media platforms. So if you interact with other things over there, that data could get shared over to that platform as well. If you go to your inbox, you, you can see any notifications you have in the app, and you can also click the paper plane on the top right corner to check direct messages. Um, people can message you if you have any friends or followers on that um, on your profile on the app. And if you go to the Me tab, you'll see your profile page, so you see who your followers are and who you're following personally. You can edit your account, see what other people can see. Um, see what you've posted yourself, see what videos you've liked, and any private videos you have posted. In order to make a video on TikTok, you're just going to press that plus button that's at the very bottom of your screen in the center. And you can record a TikTok by holding down the red record button in the center. You can also choose from filters and different effects. So the, the effects button is going to be on the left side of your screen. And to upload different things, it's going to be on the right side. And filters are going to be more towards the center up there. And that's really going to be the end of our presentation here. If you'd like to learn about this lesson more with the Cyber Seniors Mentor, you can go to cyberseniors.org or call the number on the screen there to register for a one-on-one -on -one phone or web session. We also do host weekly tech drop-in sessions from 2 to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays. So that's something you're interested in. You can definitely do that as well. And that's going to be it for my presentation. Thanks for listening, guys.